pong uh, magandang uh, at mabaling malayang lunes uh, muli and uh, we are here on our program, our weekly push. Ano nga po ba ang ibig sabihin ng push? It means pray until something happens. Kung po natin kakalimutan na ang ating panadangin ay hindi naman po kailangan mahaba pagdating sa oras o minuto na ginugugol natin. Ito po ay ayon sa kalitad ng ating panadangin at koneksyon natin sa ating Panginoon at nagpagligtas na si Jesus. Kaya nga po, sa isang mga araw, pwede niyo pong ilatag ang inyong araw at manalangin for 3 to 5 minutes every session or every moment that say within uh, the next 10 sessions will be based on the o'clock of the day. Maybe 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock. Or maybe the mid of the hour, which is, let's say, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, and so on and so forth. And we can squeeze in three to five hours of quality prayer, of push, and pray until something happens within that span of time. And you would be surprised by the results that it will have in your life, especially po sa ating relationships sa Panginoon, because we are able to spread our prayer or intercession time throughout the rest of the day. So, sa araw po na ito, I would like to encourage you once again to read with us ang um, ating um, carrier verses for the whole uh, period of our push uh, this succeeding Mondays, which is taken from 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. At sa oras po na ito, we are going to read uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 5 through 7, NLT version. We will concentrate on verse 5 and 6, but we will read it in context until verse 7. For there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. This is the message God gave to the world at just the right time. And I have been chosen as a preacher and apostle to teach the Gentiles this message about faith and truth. I'm not exaggerating, just telling the truth. Yet Paul sinabi ni Apostle Paul sa kanyang disciple na si Timothy. And it's very important for us to realize that only through Christ Jesus can we receive eternal life. Only through Christ Jesus can we have that divine connection with God to be saved in this life and in the afterlife. Remember, si Jesus po ay namatay sa krus ng kalbar. Binigay niya po ang buhay niya para sa atin, para tayo ay magkaroon ng totoo at tunay na kalayaan. At ito po ay para sa lahat ng tao. At ito po ay binigay sa atin ang Panginoon na bayad na by His sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. So it's very important for us to realize how beautiful and wonderful the love of God is sa ating buhay. Kaya po marapat lamang na we spend time in prayer, spend time meditating His words, spend time connecting with Him because that is the right thing to do. And we will benefit definitely from that type of connection sa ating Panginoon. So I would like to encourage you right now, uh, why don't we pause for a while and pray? Now, I would like to encourage you to start your prayer with thanksgiving right now. Magpasalamat po tayo sa ating Panginoon. Sa lahat ng nagawa niya, sa lahat ng ginagawa niya, at sa lahat ng gagawin niya para sa atin, para sa ibang tao na manapit sa atin, para sa ibang tao na hindi manapit sa atin, para sa ating bunch lang. Anything. Let's thank the Lord if we are eating two or three times a day. Let's thank the Lord if we are still breathing right now and we have life. Let's thank the Lord for uh, our future that He holds so dear. Sabi niya na sa Biblia that He has plans for us to prosper us and not to harm us. To give us a hope in the future. Sabi niya sa remnants of Israel in the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 29, verse 11. Ang Panginoon po ay dapat magpasalamatan natin sa lahat ng mga bagay. Kapag nga ni Job, God has given and God has taken away. And it's something very, very, very beautiful because God knows what we need at the appropriate time. Sa oras po na ito, bakit hindi po tayo uh, magbigay ng pagsamba sa ating Panginoon? Just giving Him the glory, giving Him the honor. 
makabang hapo ang binigay niya sa ating katawan. How beautiful his creation is and that he created us in a very complex way na kahit ngayon, science is still baffled by how the body that we have actually operates, how the body protects itself. And it's an amazing testament na buhay po ang ating Diyos. Tumingin lang po tayo sa namin. Maaaring umawi tayo kung maganda ang boses natin. Maaaring magsulat tayo. Maglakad. Mag-isip. And these are complex things that is still mysterious at times to science. They cannot fathom and comprehend the beauty of our bodies. Lord, we just glorify and magnify you. May nga matatag times kapag hindi namin nagkukuha yung gusto namin, nahihirapan kami tambahin ka dahil hindi namin nakukunawaan kung bakit hindi namin nakukuha yung pinangalangin namin. Pero ano po kami na dumalim sa bayan ng patataya at sambahin ng nalan mo dahil alam po namin na hawak mo ang kinabukasan namin at alam niyo po kung ano ang makakabuti sa atin. And right now, sa lahat po na naikinig or nanonood, why don't you just be alone with God? For the next three minutes, I will let you be alone with Him. And then afterwards, we will pray and start interceding. Lord, listen. See. Experience this beauty. Experience this warmth. Eat it, the kind of presence I believe in. Experiences gentleness. Listen to his voice or see what he wants you to say. is boundless energy kapag yari yan yan after God in a very personal way the Lord of Nathan Oh, 
Panginoon, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa katakilaan at kabutihan na sa pag-ibig mo na walang walang kondisyon. At na pagpapahala, Panginoon, na nakataan sa bawat anak mo na handang sundin ka at lumalim sa relasyon sa iyo. Sa oras po na ito, Panginoon, bilang isang simbahan, bilang collective church, Lord God, bilang mga anak mo, we would like to pray, Lord God, sa mga namumuno sa salvation in the name of Jesus, Christian Ministries, Inc. Mga kapatid, mga kasama, why don't you pray for the leads of the church? You can pray for them as a group, or you can pray for them as individuals, the Lord reminds you of who they are. And as the Spirit leads you right now, why don't you pray for an active minister or active ministers that the Lord is leading you to pray for? It might be one person, it might be a group of individuals. Lord, we are thanking you for giving us the opportunity to have live and box workshops. At ito po ay magsisimula sa aming emotional resilience workshops, Panginoon. That will have its official launch on the 26th of June. At kami po ay nagpapasalamat at pinagkatiwala niyo sa amin to. Dalain ko po, Panginoon, na pagpalain niyo ang panibagong branch ng ministry na ito for SMJ. And I pray, Panginoon, that you will lead all the people doing, thinking, creating, conceptualizing, planning, and eventually executing life on box workshops sa mga darating na buwan. At sa mga tao, Lord God, na handa na... Uh, mag-invite ng mga kakilala nila. Let them be blessed, Lord God, with fearlessness and boldness that we may bring a harvest of souls before you. Panginoon, kami po as a collective church, we are praying for our nation. Mga kapatid, let's pray for President Stutelke's health and his wisdom in making decisions. Panginoon, kayo po ang mamuno sa aming presidente. Ingatan niyo po ang kanyang kalusugan Palibutan niyo po siya ng mga patutuwid ng mga uh, advisors. And we pray, Panginoon, that His decisions, Lord God, will be aligned to your will para sa gas, para sa aming bansa, para sa aming gobyerno, at para sa inyong gusto, Lord God, na mangyari sa aming bansang Pilipinas. Uh, Church, why don't we pray for any government branch that we are being led to pray for? May it be the executive, the, the, the judiciary branches of our government, um, sa mga local governments natin, mula sa May or hanggang Tanod. Why don't you pray for a person or a group of persons uh, that the Lord is leading you to pray for right now? Na parte ng ating gobyerno. Hallelujah. Lord, as a church, we are praying for the coming uh, general election come 2022. Kung sino man po, Panginoon, ang nais mong iboto namin, please impress in our hearts so that we may be voting according to your will, not according to our understanding. And we pray, of course, Panginoon, that this election will be proven, Lord God, to be very, very, Lord God, uh, peaceful. Na wala pong bulo, wala pong issue at wala po pang inuang dayaan na maaari mangyari. Heavenly Father, we are praying for the vaccination rollout sa aming bansang Pilipinas. Kayo po ang mamuno at ang mabigyan po pang inuang ng initial vaccines will be the people who are pang inuang uh, you know uh, the highest or God risk individuals uh, mga frontline workers ng Pilipinas pang inuang. And I'm praying, Heavenly Father, na maging fair ang distribution ng vaccination rollout. And of course, sa mga pamilya po na may mga pasyente o may mga uh, 
close relatives or family members na meron pong COVID-19, I pray that they will seek you and that they will find you. We are praying, Heavenly Father, for the recovery of the Philippines' economy. Watch the tapers off. We are praying, Lord God, for the recovery of employment. Let us pray that every day there are people who are not working. And for those who are working, let us pray for them. That we will pray for every grateful to you, O Lord God, and continuously exercise excellence in our work. Hallelujah. And today, Heavenly Father, we are reaching out in prayer sa mga tao, Panginoon, in difficult situations who are emotionally weak, emotionally, Lord God, sick. We are praying for those who are physically sick as well, who are needing of healing. Lord, uh, we pray that you will stretch out your hands to the people and according to their faith, they may be healed. We pray, Lord God, that you will bring humility, Panginoon, sa mga tao, pangangailangan ng presensya at tulong you. And we are praying, Lord God, for the family, Lord God, of our son. Uh, and I am praying, Heavenly Father, for uh, peace sa kanilang pamilya. And I pray, Panginoon, kung ano naman po ang hindi nila pagkakaunawaan ng pamilya niya rin saan. Maayos po ito at sila po ay makapag-usap kung nangyay ng tao at nakapatawar at Panginoon. And I pray that there will be that love that restores their family, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for Roxanne at the same time, Lord, na lalo siyang lumapit po sa inyo at lalo po siyang magpasakop sa inyo para maunawaan niya ng Panginoon kung ano ang dapat niyang gawin, lalo na sa mga decisions that she needs to make. We are praying, Heavenly Father, for Din Gamat, Panginoon, sa kanyang prayer request. We are praying, Lord God, for Lynn's um, unselfishness because she is asking a prayer for somebody else, Lord God, and not hers. And we are praying, Heavenly Father, for comfort and peace sa kanyang kapatid at ang kanyang Partner, Lord God, sa Middle East na meron pong COVID. At nagpapasalamat po ako sa faith ni Lynn na gusto niya po na mapag-pray ang kanyang kapatid at ang partner ng kanyang kapatid. Lord, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa umagang pinagtalo po sa amin ngayong Monday. And we pray, Lord God, that more and more people will listen in and more and more people will know you and be saved, Lord God, by that relationship that you have offered each and every one. And I do pray, Panginoon, that everyone listening in who has, Panginoon, uh, somebody close na hindi pa po nakakilala sa inyo, you will be able, Lord God, to be bold enough to lead them, Panginoon, towards you. Or if not, Panginoon, they will be bold enough, Heavenly Father, to bring them to someone who can share the gospel of peace. Panginoon, kami po ay nagpapasalamat muli. Tinataas po namin ang iyong nalan. Pagpalain niyo mga Panginoon ang aming araw. This we pray in Jesus' name. Again, maraming maraming salamat at magandang umaga po sa lahat na nakinig sa aming uh, weekly push every Monday. And we thank you for being with us. God bless you all and may you have a great week.